All right, welcome back to the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our third segment. Now, I was I, I mentioned that after before the break, I would update you on opening day games happening right now. Only one is currently on. There's a lot of games in warm up, which we're talking about in the next segment, going over it at the end. But yes, the, so I talked about it before how the Orioles were winning two to one. They're now winning five to one, with Adley Rutschman hitting a two RBI single. And Anthony Santander hitting a sacrifice fly to make it 5-1 to one Baltimore. Jordan Westerberg is up right now with a man on first and second with two outs. So, yeah, very. In, uh, I think it's pretty clear that the Orioles lineup is going to be a problem this year. They're very, very good. And, yeah, not much else to say there. So I'm going to be talking here about five opening day matchups I'll be watching as, this, as, uh, as opening weekend does go on. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So... First one I'll be watching is Mets Brewers. Now Mets Brewers was supposed to happen today. It probably would have been over by now. It was supposed to happen at 110. But um it got rained out because it is New York and it rains. So yeah, but I'm really interested to watch this matchup for a few reasons. One, the Mets, I mean, they've had a lot of turmoil this offseason and a lot of new additions. So you're gonna be watching guys like Harrison Bader. You'll be watching new you'll be watching guys come back like Starling Marte, Brendan Nimoff, who had an injury at the end of the year. And I just want to see how the new-look Mets are. They have a lot more, a lot, diff- a lot of different pitchers. The organization is a lot different as well. So overall, I'm just excited to watch this Mets team, this new Mets team, and just seeing how their season does start off. So, yeah, I'm really interested to just, again, watch them, see how they do perform, and see if the new organization, with all the changes they've had this offseason, do help them and do help them improve. So, yeah. Number uh, verse, are we? I don't know what that was. Sorry. Sometimes I just talk. I talk so fast I run over my words. Um, well, ne- they are playing the Milwaukee Brewers, who I'm also interested in watching a lot. Obviously, they have also went through a lot of turmoil this offseason. A lot of changes, trading Corbin Burns, having Brandon Woodruff be out for the year, trading Mark Canna having your young guys coming up, extending one of your young guys in Jackson Cherio. So, yeah, I think the Brewers have a lot of things to figure out this season, and I'm interested to see how the season does start. I'm interested to see their guys and who's playing, who's playing well and all that. So, yeah, just really interested to watch the Brewers. And this matchup is good because both teams went through a lot this offseason, went through a lot of changes, and personally for me as a baseball fan, I'm excited to watch them. I'm excited to see what turns out well, what doesn't. So, yeah, that's that's kind of it there. After that, we, of course, are going to be talking about the Yankees and Astros. That game does start in four minutes, so if any updates do happen, again, I'll let you know in the, la- I'll let you know in the last segment. Part of that will be mentioned by me so yeah Yankees I think it's pretty clearly why I think it's pretty clear why we want to watch this matchup two words come to mind Juan Soto um yeah I I mean it's Juan Soto one one of the biggest trades in MLB history him going to the Yankees of all teams so yeah um it's going to be very interesting to watch his tenure in New York and forever how long for however long it is if it's a year if it's more than a year but with a different team We'll, we'll see what happens with that. So, yeah, honestly, very excited to watch uh, to watch Soto and the Yankees. They also have some other additions like Marcus Stroman, who I want to watch. So, yeah, they also have younger guys like Clayton Beater. Just overall, a, a newer Yankees team, and I'm just really excited to watch this team and see how the season does play out for them. After that, we are there. I don't know why I said after that. Sorry. They're playing the Astros, who I am also interested to watch. Obviously, defend. they went to the AL Championship game and AL Championship Series, I should say, and lost. So I'm trying to see how they defend their crown after that. They had a really nice offseason, in my opinion, adding the best closer in baseball to an already stacked bullpen in Josh Hader. I think it was a great addition and probably having the best back end of the bullpen in all of baseball. You go from Brian Abreu to Ryan Presley to Josh Hader. If your if your pitcher gives you six good innings, I think the game's pretty much shut from there. So, yeah, uh, I'm really interested in watching the Astros team and what does end up happening with them this year and how they end up performing. So, yeah, uh, not much else to say here. I think the Astros is always a very a very um, tantalizing team and a team everyone wants to watch. So, excited to see how they do this year. And just excited to watch them and 
see what happens with them. Next, we have Cubs Rangers. Um, so, with the Cubs, I'm interested in watching all of their new additions. First of all, I'm interested to see how Craig Council looks as a Cub going over from his division rival, Milwaukee Brewers. So, that'll be interesting to see if his managing style changes in any way. I don't think it will, but it is a new team. So, after that, new additions like Shota and Managa, who I I want to watch. I want to see how Hector Neris performs. I want to see, say, Suzuki's year. How does Nico Horner play? Dansby Swanson. So, yeah, I think the Cubs run through a lot of different changes this offseason. Most of them were good, in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm very, just very intrigued to see what the Cubs do in this opening series and how they do start off the season. I think they're a very, a very nice team to watch and just to see what is going to happen this year so with them so yeah interested to watch them and what is how they are going to start the season off with their team playing them we have the defending world champion texas rangers i don't think it's i don't think there's any debate why i'm interested in watching the rangers the rangers are very very good and they are the defending world champions so I want to see how their title defense goes. They have a lot of great young players, so I want to watch, like Wyatt Langford, of course. My guy, Wyatt Langford. Evan Carter as well. So, yeah, I'm just, I want to see how the Rangers title defense goes, and I want to see how their young players perform. And overall, I just think it's going to be a very interesting matchup for opening day and a very fun matchup as well. So, I'll be interested to watch this game, and I'll be giving you guys updates on what does happen. So, yeah. After that, we have Twins Royals. In Hale Central matchup. So first for the Twins, they didn't do much this offseason, but I'm just interested to see how their guys do come back. Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton mainly. I'm just I want to see how these guys perform, how they start their season off. Does it get off to a good start? Try and build off of the disappointment that was last year for both of them. Correa did better at the end, and Buxton, while he didn't have a bad season, did not play center field at all. So if he wants to stay healthy, it's you know he's gonna have to do a lot for it. So yeah, um. Very intrigued to see how the Twins do perform in this new year, how the overall team is, and yeah, just what's what's going to happen with them and how they do end up playing. So yeah, really, that's just about it for them. So yeah, I think they had a really underwhelming offseason, as I said, but I think it was fine for them because of the young players that do have filling in spots. So overall, I'll just be watching Correa and Buxton mostly and seeing how the team performed as a whole. After that, they are playing their AL Central rivals, Kansas City Royals. Now, with the Royals, there's a lot to want to watch. First of all, how the new additions perform. Hunter Renfro, Adam Frazier, Will Smith, Chris Stratton, Seth Lugo, if he does pitch this opening weekend. Same with Michael Walker. So that's going to be fun to watch. And how will their young players perform after last year as well? Bobby Witt, Vinny Pasquantino, MJ Melendez, Michael Garcia. So, yeah, I think just overall there's a lot to watch in this Royals team. You, of course, want to watch Cole Reagans as well, who I've, I've talked about many times as being an amazing pitcher. So, yeah, just I think a very intriguing matchup for both these teams, a very nice AL Central matchup, and that one I'm really interested in watching. So, yeah, that's, that's about it. Here we go. Uh, last, of course, we have the Angels and Orioles. Already a lot has happened with this game, as it is 5-1 to one Orioles, so I think I was proven right already. So, uh, yeah. Um, with the Angels first, they went through a lot of uh, turnover this offseason, of course, with the best player in baseball leaving their team, Shohei Otani. Also, didn't really add much. They've had a lot of interesting situations, we should say, with their superstar third baseman. Well, then superstar third baseman, Anthony Rendon. He's definitely not a superstar anymore with the seasons he's had over the past few years. So, yeah, what's just going to happen with this Angels team and how will they perform? So, that's honestly what I'm interested in and interested in watching and seeing what does happen. So, yeah. Uh, versing, they are playing the Orioles, who added a lot this offseason, which I would be very happy about if I'm an Orioles fan. Corbin Burns is a great add. You added Craig Kimbrell as well, which was nice. So, yeah, other than that, I just think that the Orioles have an amazing young team. They won 101 games last year, and building off of that, it's going to be very fun to watch this team going into the year and watching them and how they do perform. So, yeah, uh, very, very interesting to see how this Orioles team will play 
and see how they end up performing with all these young players and the expectations of last year now new ownership as well acquiring a superstar pitcher so yeah we're going over that and uh, we'll be i'll be interested to talk about that game tomorrow so that was our third segment talking about some opening day matchups i'll be watching we'll be going to our fourth segment which is going to be about some general news stories around the league including in that i'll be recapping at the end the games that are going on right now and some news that has happened i just saw Loy- royce lewis hit a home run on my phone i saw it on my phone so yeah i'll i guess that's going to be part of it we just talked about the twins and the royals game and twins and royals Ro- royce lewis already made it one nothing so yeah We'll be talking about these games, and we'll be talking about some other new stories around the league. So we'll uh, we'll see you after the break, and we'll uh, talk to you then. Bye. Thanks.